everyone and welcome to our introduction to the bovine breeder. Thank you for taking the time today to um, uh, talk to us and, and listen to our conversation here on the bovine breeder, which I have with us today. Um, before we get started, just a few housekeeping things. Um, this is recorded, so we will be sending you a um, uh, recording of this to your um, email so you can get that for yourself. We will also be um, having, if there are questions or things that you would like to ask, there is a chat section up in the uh, left-hand corner, I believe, of your um, uh, um, screen here, excuse me. So you can um, go ahead and I want to thank you for coming to the Reality Works um, presentation on introduction to the bovine breeder, the artificial insemination um, uh, inseminator. So as we get started here, just to give a little bit of an introduction and a welcome to you, um, a little bit about Reality Works. We are in education, career and technical education, and within ag education throughout the United States, throughout the world. Um, we are a partner with ag education as well as the uh, National Association of Agriculture Educators um, uh, as well. So all of our focuses that we have are on engaging um, and interactive learning tools um, or, uh, and curriculum that is also included. So today we're just gonna get started here um, not so much talking about some of the other areas of our um, skills training. We do have products in the family and uh, consumer science area, health science, and welding and trades, but today we're really going to be focusing on the agriculture world. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the features of the bovine breeder. So uh, we have a very unique and uh, helpful tool here. We're going to hear from a, uh, a, a teacher who is using this. Um, and so I want to just talk to you about um, the product we have here. So the bovine breeder is a realistic um, hindquarters and reproductive system of a cow. The whole purpose of this is to be able to um, show and uh, give you kind of a uh, students an understanding of this product. In this case here, it is the hindquarters that has a removable hide. So you can see inside of the reproductive tract and then the digestive system as well. So this uh, features here um, is something that is collapsible. It can fit right onto um, the table, the desk that you're at. Um, as well as it allows you to be able to move it from classroom to classroom or have students use it as they need it. Now, some of the neat features here we're going to kind of talk about are um, just looking at uh, the product here is it is something where we've included a new part of this product and that is the uh, bovine uh, pregnancy palpation. Okay, this product has the ability to um, not only uh, focus on insemination, but it also has the ability to work on pregnancy palpation. So let me just kind of give a little presentation here is um, in the back end here, we have the ability to go inside and actually feel through here. And as I pull out um, and come back on camera here, we actually have poop bags that um, allows the, the um, understanding that you have to, to get inside of the rectum to be able to feel inside there. Then what allows you to do is get inside and actually uh, feel around and get to your um, uterus of the cow. Now in this case, we have the uterus here and inside it has the cervix. So we have the cervix as a clear cervix. So you as an instructor can see as you go in and are you actually artificial inseminating in the correct place and you can get past the cervix to that. Now, the other great feature here is inside here we have the uterine horns. The uterine horns are great because um, we have pouches on them where then you can actually use the, uh, we have a CL1, CL2, and CL3 that you can put these inside here, the pouch, and then um, all the way down to where the ovary is located. And then students can actually palpate and be able to feel that in there. Now, the great feature here is we also have not only the palpation for the corpus luteum stages, but we also have the ability for a, a four week old and also an eight week old uh, fetus for pregnancy development. So we have these as options here, as well as bungee cords allowing you to move these as needed so you can kind of see different ages and different um, understandings of the animal itself. So I want to show you a little bit closer here uh, 
um, the different uh, palpation pieces. Now, what we have here is we have these um, different options for you in the corpus luteum stages and also the fetal development stages. So again, the corpus luteum allows you to um, test if the cow is ready to be inseminated or not with a CL1, CL2, and CL3 based on what you put in. And so in this case, these little um, uh, um, examples of the CL1, CL2, and CL3, they're blown up here on, on the photo, is giving you an understanding of what they would look like and then to be able to the texture and the feel of what the size would be for this, uh, this product. Then we also have um, uh, fetal development stages for uh, four weeks and then eight weeks as well. So you can also put these inside of the uterus down into um, our little uh, ovary and kind of the, the pouches there in the uterine horns. So then you can actually palpate and feel um, those, those areas. All right. Now, with our product here, we also have a curriculum. The curriculum goes through cow and bull reproductive systems, basic principles of artificial insemination, proper in, uh, artificial insemination technique, and then pregnancy to, uh, palpation. So those are our four different lessons. They come right in uh, with this product. It includes teacher guides, PowerPoint slides, note-taking activities, um, group activities, and then also worksheets for you to um, be able to use this. All of this is available for you as, we, um, as you buy and use this product. So I wanna talk a little bit about learn, learning to love and what we are hearing from the, the um, people throughout the um, United States who have the bovine breeder who are using it. And we're gonna to talk to a gentleman from North Dakota. Um, his uh, um, students are using the bovine breeder right now in their classroom. And just have a little conversation that I had with him last Friday about how have your students reacted to using the bovine breeder in the classroom? And he's gonna talk a little about that. First, you know, they giggled a lot because um, it was new to pretty much all of them except for the kids that live on, on a beef farm. Um, but as soon as I showed them how it works, they were all pretty intrigued about the, the bovine breeder and also the um, artificial insemination career that it, it could potentially be for them. So they took right to it. You know, at first I thought, oh gosh, I'm going to have to force these kids to actually do it because they're going to be embarrassed because they have to use terminology that kids don't like to use. Um, these days, um, but you know, it. I was quite shocked that they they jumped right on it when I told them, okay, it's it's time to practice um, your AI for for the day. Um, what I did is um, when I signed it at the beginning of September, um, they had to um, come in and practice, and then throughout September, at some point, they had to come test on it for me to see that. Could they actually AI the, the bovine breeder? And so I didn't have any kids hesitate using it at all. Um, I think more parents got kind of <laughs> kind of weirded out until they actually saw it. Um, that they were the kids were using an, a, a, a breeder that represented what a cow would look like. So um, the kids really like it. They kind of asked for it right now just to keep testing on it, but um, and um, when I tested them, depending on their level, you know, the beef kids, I, you can set the cervix, you know, to different um, levels of hardness. For example, most kids, I just set it on like an easy, an easy so that they could get the, um, the, uh, the pipe bit right through. And the farm kids, I set it a little bit harder. Now, they want to come back and actually have it set to where it's really hard. So it, it's more realistic, like a cervix. So they will actually want to continue to improve their skills on it. So that's kind of exciting to, to, for me to know that these kids are actually interested in this portion of the beef industry. And so that right there is Willie Fitz. And one of the things that he, he comes from is a smaller community in uh, North Dakota, in Rolla, North Dakota. And one of the questions that he and I asked him and, and talking to him was, what would you say to instructors looking to purchase and to use the bovine breeder in their classroom, how would their students, as you saw just before here, how his students are taking this on and using it, how would they uh, view that and what would you tell instructors? I tell them when they ask me how 
how well did it go in my classroom? I tell her it made livestock reproduction, um, especially the breeding portion, a lot easier because kids could actually see it. Um, yes, there's videos and worksheets, like I've said before, but this actually gave kids more where they can get their hands on it. They can physically see it because it's almost um, life size, so they, the kids understood how big each of the organs would be and, and how um, the sperm travels through and how the egg travels and how the calf travels. Um, and actually, you know, they could actually watch, you know, if they angled themselves correctly, they could watch to make sure that they were hitting, hitting the vagina correctly and the cervix and making sure that it was in the uterus. Um, so it's a great tool because they can see it. Um, and they can get their hands on it. Um, so that's how, you know, I, I tell the instructors in North Dakota, that's being, how I'm using it. Um, and also it's, it's a teaching aid, you know, so as um, the kids were testing with it, I asked the kids questions, for example, okay, which organ is um, the egg produced in, and which organ is the calf developed in, and which organ does, you know, the bull deposit the semen in. So not only are they, um, being tested on their AI, they can get tested on the just the general questions that the female reproductive tract would offer, and, and the kids can actually see it, and it helps them remember what um, the answers would be, or or how it works in real life. And so, again, just talking to Willie there a little bit of what he's talking about it too is, is some of the features that it can and can provide for uh, instructors. And so it gives that ability a removable hide and removable reproductive tract. The ability to take it out, let students work through, see the different parts of the tract, being able to go through and really understand all the pieces of the reproductive tract, how artificial insemination works, how do you palpate for um, if you're ready to actually inseminate? And then what does pregnancy palpation look like? It has interchangeable cervix rings. And one of the things that we have done here is in the, the, um, the cervix rings here is we actually have three different rings in the cervix. And what this does is you can open this little compartment up and you can move the rings. And the purpose of that is by allowing you to move the rings, it makes the difficulty level of getting through that cervix, being able to, to maneuver through that cervix based on how you turn those little uh, rings. You turn them one way, it can be easier. You turn them another way, it can be more difficult. And so that is another feature, allowing students to be able to start in an easy ability to really understand how to artificially inseminate and then go deeper as they get better and better um, and be able to uh, focus there. So we also have the movement of the tracks in, in location to each other. This allows you, with these bungees on here, it allows you to lower the cervix, lower the um, reproductive tract, raise it up, move it to the side to side different areas that you might need. Same thing with the reproductive, uh, with the uh, digestive tract. Moving around, allowing you to be able to have a larger range of motion or a tighter range of motion, depending on what you want your students to be able to do that. Also then, this visual observation area um, of the cervix. Inside of the reproductive tract, there's actually ability for you as a teacher to see, did the pipette, did it go far enough? Did the AI gun get to where it needed to be? Are they inseminated correctly? It allows the students to be able to look inside or not look inside, depending on if the hide is covering or not, and have a better understanding of what's going on during artificial insemination. And then finally, with our um, uh, pregnancy palpation, it allows you to for, uh, palpate to see the signs if the bovine is ready to breed or if they are pregnant itself. So all these are just different options for you as we come here to be able to um, show and see uh, what is, is um, happening with the uh, artificial insemination, how best to teach in your classroom. Not only do you get the bovine breeder, you also get the curriculum that comes with it, quick start guides, teacher guides along with it, helping you to have a better uh, ability to engage and to enrich student learning through the bovine breeder artificial insemination. So time for a little questions. And I do have one question right up top. Um, I didn't uh, give a price. Someone's asking for a price. Bovine breeder, the cost of this product is $29.99. That gives you the bovine breeder. It gives you the um, AI gun, it gives you gloves, it gives you the um, uh, pregnancy palpation kit with the different 
um, uh, stages of development. It also gives you all of the curriculum and the teacher guides with that for $29.99. So there is the uh, bovine breeder. Um, you can buy this on our store. You can talk to a salesperson and be able to get it through that way as well. All right. Um, another question again comes in and they're asking here is the curriculum, the, um, the length of curriculum. Each curriculum piece, there are four lessons to the curriculum, last about 45 to 60 minutes. So about one class period. If you're doing a regular schedule, if you're doing block, you could probably get two class period, uh, two lessons in one, but about um, a, a lesson per day um, teaching this. So about four or five days of teaching it. And then the practice really comes in. That's when you want to start practicing, get your practice in, have students be able to continue to do this. And like Willie said from uh, North Dakota, as he talked about this product, is his students came back and wanted to keep on trying to use it, wanting to hone their skills, wanting to get better in that world. So again, that is uh, available for you um, to be able to have your students use it time and time again, really understand how they're using it and get an understanding um, within that world. Now, uh, if you have more questions, we thank you for your time. Uh, we, you can call us at 800-830-1416, or you can always email us at information at realityworks.com. Thank you for sharing this time with us. If you have more questions, we are more than happy to help and to um, 